Hey guys, in this video you're about to see how you can create a cool looking intro for your next video. Okay, let's begin. Alright, this is the site that we're gonna use today. It's called Panzoid. The link is in the description. You can check that out. When you're there, you can click on the bottom left to more creations. It will lead you to this page. On the top side, there is a search box where you can be more specific of what type of intro you're looking for. In order to see how the intro is gonna look like, you can click on it and open in Clip Maker. And then it will lead you to this page again. Firstly, you will have a side view of the intro and you can click on the eye icon on the player so you can see the front view of the intro and see how it looks. If you want to check some more intros, you can always check on the left side. There is always some suggestions out there. For example, like this one. And many other intros, but for today's video, I'm gonna be using this one. And when you have already picked your video, you want to edit it a little bit, you can go on the left side and uh, there are some basic settings. The first one is to video resolution. You can set up the resolution of your video. Under the resolution, there is a frame rate. You can pick from 30 or 60 frames per second. And lastly is the length of the video. You can set up how long you want the video to be. I'm suggesting to not leave it over 10 seconds since the viewer can easily get bored and click off of the video. After you've done that, you can go to the object icon, which is this one. We're gonna use that mainly for the text. And as you can see, there's a lot of things going on here, but we're gonna look only for the text name because we wanna change the name that is displayed in the intro. So specifically for this intro, we are having a three layers of text name. So we have to go in each one of them that says text in the beginning and put our custom name on top of that, on each and every one of them. After you did that for every one of them, you will see the result on the right side where it's displayed how the intro is gonna look like. And you can always play to see how it runs. And I can say it looks pretty good and it doesn't need any more. But because it's tutorial, I will show you what other things you can do. If you go on the text again, you can go on the font and change it. And just like the name, you have to do it for all three of them because they have uh, three different layers. So for example, your intro could have just one type of layer or five, but the algorithm is the same. You just have to do the same with all of the text names without any matter do you have one, three or five layers of text on the intro. And as you can see, I successfully changed the font style of it. There's a lot of things that you can do here. You can either change the light, color, positioning, shadows, rotations and so on. I'm not gonna go in that much details, but you can check that out. And the next important thing is the note on the left, which means it's the audio. You can pick a different song for it. You can set up the volume. You can control the beats and that's pretty much it with the volume. And assuming that you're finished with all of that, you can go on the download icon and you can choose the format that you wanted. And on the mode, you can choose what type of quality you want for the video. Usually it takes about one to two minutes to make it. When you set it up, you can press start. And it's gonna take me about two minutes, so I'm gonna skip forward. So now it says that my video is ready and I can download it. Obviously you're pressing download video. And now we can see the result. We can play the intro. It's 
If you ask me, it's pretty good based on the time that we spent on it. It's really decent. And after you download it, it's gonna be type MKV. And if you're having some trouble uploading it somewhere, I'm leaving a link in the description where you can for free convert it to MP4 so that you don't have trouble uploading it anywhere. And if you come this far into the video, I wanna say thank you for your time. If this video helped you, you can like it, subscribe, comment if you have any suggestions and see you in the next video.